Hey y'all, so it's Nicola. Ugh. It's my channel. <laughs> Anyway, before we get started, I have a couple announcements. First announcement, as you guys know, if you do not know, I've started a members-only section. You can find it in, by the notification uh, sign on my channel. Um, in the members-only area, we'll have an extended read for every reading that I do every day. Um, we'll also have uh, the next 48 for the weekends. We'll have live chats with uh, my members only, and we will have... Uh, any bonus read that I do will be under my members only tab. So if you guys are interested, like I said, go to my channel, hit beside the notification button. This is a monthly thing. So you pay once and the whole month you get extended readings for the whole month, whatever bonus reads I put out for the whole month. You know what I'm saying? All that shit. Okay. Second announcement. Today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, I'll be doing $5 one question reads. Um, if you guys are interested, all the information will be in the description. I'll probably try to see if I can put it across the uh bottom of the screen my email and cash app information for those of you that are interested okay um that will only be for today tomorrow and wednesday uh I think that is it all right so what messages for guidance do you have messages guidance what energy are we drawing on today Ooh. four swords magician here would be hard for here so some of you guys could be Stepping back to take some sort of action here, um, either on a relationship, a job. For some of you guys, you could be manifesting some different beliefs here. Six of Wands in reverse. Um, some, that's a loss. Six of Wands in, in reverse is a loss. King of Pentacles here in reverse. This could have to do with some, with a job because these two together is a job. Could also be Taurus energy, but these two together is a job. Um, some of you guys could be trying to manifest your retreat from a job. Um, either not liking the boss, king of pinnacles, not feeling in control, five pinnacles here, maybe don't have enough money. So some of you guys could be dealing with the situation. You don't have enough money. You're not stable. King of pinnacles in reverse is, is not stable, but it's also like a, a big focus on money. So, so maybe some of you guys have been too focused on money, or maybe that's why you're leaving a job because you've been too focused on money. You feel like you ain't making enough at that motherfucker understandable all right what other messages do we have for the collective we got the six of wands here and the queen of wands so this is freeing yourself to move forward from a loss but for some of you guys the six of wands in reverse that came out two of swords i feel like you're coming out of stagnation here because you don't want to lose something some of you guys don't want to so okay if this is about a job, you're coming out of this job because you don't want to lose an opportunity an opportunity that's going to give you freedom within your finances. If this is relationship, because y'all know the energy is the same, the circumstances are different. If this is a relationship, you're coming out of, out of your shell, coming out of um, thought to take action toward a relationship because you are not confident that things will not change. Some of you guys are afraid that somebody's going to move on and you're going to lose. Um, it's not a competition. I feel like there's a shift in perspective here. It's not a competition, but I do feel like there could be some loss. Six of Pentacles in reverse is a loss. Five, uh, King of Pentacles in reverse is no stability. All right. What messages, what guidance do we have? We got the Knight of Wands here and the Justice card. Some of you guys are moving forward because you know it's right. Your desire is to make something right. Some of you guys are losing on purpose. Changing the foundation either of a relationship, of your beliefs, of a job. Losing on purpose. You're losing to win. You're changing something to win. It's creating some conflict for you. Most definitely, maybe even conflict within your money. Death card in reverse with the three of pentacles in reverse. Putting an end to no cooperation. Ten of swords embracing the end of a difficult situation. So some of you guys have been dealing with no cooperation. You've been committed to something, whether it be a job, whether it be a relationship, whether it be a person, place, a motherfucking thing, okay? You've been committed to something that has kept you at a lack, that has kept you without, that has kept you um, not having no motherfucking money. And even if it's not having no, even if you got money, say for instance, you got money, you don't have as much money as you would like. Okay. Um, and, and even if it's not that, if it's a relationship, but say this don't have nothing to do with money and this is a relationship, you have been not stable. You've been worried, left out in the cold, not getting what you deserve. Um, less than you haven't even been getting like, you know, how 
the six of pentacles is like non-reciprocal. You haven't been getting no cooperation. You haven't been getting no work. Like whoever you've been dealing with ain't been putting no work in. And, and to, you desire things to be fair. You desire things to be reciprocal. So you're putting it into the not cooperation. You're putting it. And even if this is you, you could have been so focused on money that you created a conflict within your life. You created a challenge within your life. And now you want to be free of that. You don't want to keep losing. You don't want to keep being at a lack. Some of you guys may even realize that you've been at a lack because you've been holding yourself back from true abundance, true love, true um, prosperity. Now you are desiring to go towards something that is balanced. So either you've been dealing with a relationship that ain't been balanced or dealing with a relationship where you've been out in the cold. You could have been dealing with somebody that was draining your ass, okay, or, or dealing with someone that has not been keeping, like there's been chaos because five minus three, this three is in reverse, this three of pentacles is in reverse, five minus three is two pentacles. So some of you guys could have been going back and forth with someone that, that was not cooperating, that was not helping, that was just draining you, taking from you. You could have been dealing with someone that just wanted your money. They don't want you, they just wanted what you brought to them. And it's been hard to let go of that lack of cooperation even. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's because of your beliefs surrounding it. So say for instance, it's a family situation. You could have been dealing with someone in your family that has been taken from you. And it's been hard for you to set boundaries to the situation because they family. And your belief is that you should take care of family. And I believe that we should take care of family, but we should take care of family that chooses to be in reciprocal energy with you and wants to actually be helped by you and not just take advantage of you. You feel what I'm saying? Four of swords here. If this is a job, like I said, for a lot of you guys, you've been investing your time, energy, and you ain't been getting that much. So it's like you've been You've been so focused on money. Take it. You could have just took any old job, any old responsibility. Um, you could have been working overtime. You could have been doing a lot um, to where you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. At a disadvantage, you're putting more than what you're getting out. Okay, y'all. If it look, if my over here look like it's like wet or something, I don't know what the fuck. My, this motherfucker been running. Um, it ain't the pink eye. The last night it's like it just got dry and now it's just been running. So yeah. Might be my allergies. Nine times out of ten, it's my fucking allergies. Why is this four of swords here? Knight of swords here. Yeah. So you've been inside of yourself searching for the answers. Knight of swords here. You're taking action. There is some action being taken. Knight of wands is definitely movement. Okay. There's movement here. Queen of wands here. You could be freeing yourself from, from a loss. Ten swords here. Embracing the end of a different situation. Why is this magician here? It's a new day, it's a new light, it's a new me. Yeah, and I'm feeling good. I know that ain't the words, but go listen to Nina Simone, New Life. It's going to give you new life, okay? Magician here, Ten of Swords, Will of Fortune. Some of you guys are manifesting the end of a difficult situation so that things can change. This could even be for a lot of you guys in your own home. You have not felt like, you know, the homeowner. You have not felt like... Whether this is whatever you consider home in this scenario, whether it's your job, the relationship, or your actual home. For some of you guys, this is your actual home. It's like you've you've been dealing with a lot of challenges. Maybe there's a lot of money that's been going out. Lord knows I know about it, okay? It could have been a lot of money going out. You feel what I'm saying? You haven't felt at the top of your game. King of Pentacles in reverse is like a lack of stability, a lack of good decisions, a lack of good investments, okay? It's like loss of power. Higher up in here. Why is this higher up in here? Some of you guys are ready for this to change. You're ready for this to change. Nine swords, three swords, three cup. You have anxiety about severing what was in order to go toward happiness here. For some of you guys, this is a relationship that's become a third party to your own happiness. Three of swords, three of cups here, nine of swords. Now you have anxiety about letting it go. You have anxiety about moving away from this commitment, from this relationship, from this belief. Some of you guys, it's just as simple as your own beliefs that have kept you at a lack, that have kept you without, that has kept, that has kept you from being able to truly prosper, prosper, whether it be in your career, love, money, uh, stability, all three, all three. Some it, usually the way energy works, if you're blocked in one part of your life, you're blocked in all. There's comp, there's conflict and, and and problems in every part of your life. That's how energy works. If there's a free flowing energy, everything flows free in your life. If there's stagnation at one in one 
fucking circumstance in your life, there's stagnation throughout the whole circumference, okay? King of Pentacles in reverse. There's a lack of ooh, lack of confidence here. Five, I said a lack of confidence, and these came out like this. Eight of Wands, Five of Pentacles here. There's a lack of confidence here. Some of you guys have been stuck because you've been so worried, so worried about your money, so worried about your stability, so worried about your worth. Some of you guys, this has to do with your worth. Some of you guys have been so worried about your own worth or how people see you that you have been treating yourself less. You have been moved. You have been basically got down, you know what I'm saying? Not giving yourself the best, not allowing yourself to have what it is that you desire. You've been losing in life because you've been small stepping. We big steppers over here. OK, we big steppers. We don't care about what's going on outside of us. If you want to do something. In your life, you got to take that chance. You got to do what you got to do to make sure that you are basically providing the best life for yourself. For a lot of you guys, you've been playing a small here. You've been worried about what other people think. You've been worried about what other people see as opposed to what you want. Five of Pentacles, other people can't live your life. They can only make uh, 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 opinions and considerations based on whatever level they are in, in their life. You feel me? You put it, put it like this. You can't take millionaire dreams to a penny picture. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you can't, and I'm not saying millionaires can't be penny pinchers. What I'm saying is you can't take millionaire dreams to somebody that has a slum mindset. You feel me? Some people come comfortable with only making a couple hundred dollars a week and living off that. Some people want more. Some people want to live off million dollars a week. You, you feel what I'm saying? And, and anything's possible. Money is prosperity and money and abundance is free flowing. You get what I'm saying? So for a lot of you guys, you got this millionaire mindset, but you've been barricading yourself around penny pinchers. You've been barricading yourself around people who are comfortable just getting by around people who are comfortable just having the things that they feel like create value for them you on the other hand have wanted to expand yourself either physically emotionally spiritually financially whatever the case may be and now you're here focused on changing your foundation because you no longer want to be stuck you no longer want to be in a space to where the universe is not cooperating with you you don't want to keep holding on to things that are not working for you queen of wands here why is this queen of wands here why is this queen of wands here there's a strong desire to move forward. Universe here, Queen of Wands, yeah. A strong desire to be free. A strong desire to nurture what it is that you motherfucking want. <laughs> Page of Pentacles under here. So you're taking effort. So you guys are taking efforts toward getting what you want. Four of Pentacles here with the Six of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys have been holding on to that loss. You've been holding on to something that made you feel like a loser. Because Six of Wands in reverse is a loser. You've been oppressing yourself, Okay. And this may be why you've been making these decisions about how other people view things, because at one point you may have felt like a loser. At one point, you someone may have told you, damn, man, you lost. And you didn't. You didn't. Whatever didn't happen in the past, it was meant to not happen in order to place you in a position for a greater future. Some of you guys are not realizing that, or you may now just be realizing that. But you're holding on to a loss. So for a lot of you guys, it could even be your pride that is holding you back from going after what you truly desire. So there could be something that you're losing here. Because you've been too focused. You could be losing something because you've been too focused. Focused on things that are outside of you. Knight of Wands here. Why is this Knight of Wands here? We got Nine of Wands here. So this is about desiring to overcome. Desiring to have strength. For a lot of you guys, you're desiring to overcome a situation. Page of Cups, good news is on the way. Uh, for a lot of you guys, there's some new feelings, some new emotions. You know what I'm saying? Justice here. And you know, this is my second read. The first read, I stopped because something just said stop and I stopped, but I'll still release that. And my members only, it's only a small thing. I released that along with the extended read today because that's a message for somebody, but it wasn't the message that I had to get out to y'all. So justice here. Why is this justice here? Why is this justice here? Mm -mm. Why is this justice here? We have the Knight of Pentacles here. So for some of you guys, you're, you want things to be right. You want this investment to, to go good. For a lot of you guys, you're, you're wanting to invest something new. Hey, man, in reverse. Yeah, you're coming out of your, you're coming out. Of, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're coming out your ego. You want things, you want things to go right. You want to be free from a cycle, a cycle of lack. Lack mindset, lack emotions, lack finances, whatever the case may be. Um, and I say, listen, you got pinnacles out here. You got ones out here. So you already got 
some money circulating. You already got um, your desires circulating, but you got to get your head together. You got to get your heart together. There has to be a balance of your heart and mind. And this is what's been taking you so long. That's why you've been dragging your feet because you've been putting your desires outside of you instead of focusing on what is in your own heart and your own your own heart and your own mind instead of balancing those two energies out. Death card, three of pentacles. We got temperance here with the nine of pentacles and the foolish man. So it's time for a lot of you guys to take a leap of faith. Be confident moving forward. Some of you guys have to put an end to not cooperating. You want better. You got to do better. And you have not been cooperating with your motherfucking self. Five of cups here. A lot of you guys, you gotta, you're coming out of regret. You have, you're putting an end to not cooperating with the universe. You're putting an end to being ruined by your own mindset. Yes, I like it. I like it. And end to not cooperating. So some of you guys, you are realizing that the only thing that's been holding you back is your motherfucking self. What guidance do we have? All right, we got self-discipline. What I tell you? What did I tell you? What the fuck I be talking about? I do this, okay? The biggest obstacle we face in this 3D experience is the obstacle of self. Our desires and the dependency on fulfilling those desires can sometimes hinder us from even beginning our purpose. With so many temptations, we tend to lean toward what's easiest. Understand you created your path, so only you can follow it. It was tailor-made for you. Stay on task. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all are following the discipline to finally cooperate with the universe, and it is thus freeing you from your own lack, freeing you from your own bullshit let me read this for you it says you are free it's time to let go of any ties that bind and bet and any baggage that weighs you down you are free from karmic cycles release stagnant emotions and open your heart to new and positive experiences release the reins and let go i'm trying to tell you what i know some of y'all are finding freedom here you're losing something yeah most doubt but you know what you're losing six of wands five of pentacles let me get this motherfucking card up you losing a lack. You losing not nothing. Five of Pentacles is challenges, conflict, uh, you know, uh, uh, feeling left out in the cold, not being appreciated. Okay, some of you guys are letting go of situations and circumstances that create problems for you. That's a blessing. That's a motherfucking blessing. Okay, let's see what what other messages do we have for the collective closing out. And like I said, if you guys are interested in joining my members only area, just go to my channel, click by the notification thing and click join. OK. Uh, and it's called the wise ones. All right. And also, if you guys are interested in the five dollar one question, week, I'll put my email address in my email address already in the description. But I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen as well as my cash. I feel like both of those are in the description already. I really do. All right, what messages, what guidance do we have for the collective? What messages, what guidance? We have step out of your comfort zone and your dreams need a practical plan. That's, all, that's what I fucking said. You know what I'm saying? That's what I motherfucking said. Some of you guys got big dreams and they need a practical plan. You got to step out your comfort zone, take a leap of faith and be confident that what you desire is what you going to get because it is. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Um, it don't say that, but it came in my head. So a, a spiritual protection is important as well, I feel like, for a lot of you guys. But you're safe. You got this. You got this. This is all I have. Until next time.